Last week I took a look at Gulf Keystone Range Resources and Excite Energy and uh, there were about 3,000 views of the video which is not quite Gangnam style but it's getting there. As far as uh, this week is concerned I'm looking at uh, a couple of my own favourites. The first one is uh, Bo Levin uh, where there's been a rising trend channel on the daily chart since May last year. In the near term, over the past couple of months, we've seen uh, double support around the uh, low 60s, uh, and that ties in with uh, August support, uh, plus a golden cross buy signal at the end of February, which is so far working clearly, and a gap to the upside, which is unfilled to start March. Uh, the unfilled gap is the big buy signal here, and really it suggests that while there is no end of day close back below the old November uh, high, of 91 pence uh, we should be looking at higher prices uh, the favored destination is one pound ten which would be the top of last year's trend channel probably as soon as the end of uh, April moving on to blinks uh, it's actually a configuration here on the daily chart which isn't a million miles away from that of Bow Lieben in the sense that we've had a an unfilled gap to the upside and then the stock holding up above uh, previous November uh, resistance, in this case around 81 pence. The view at the moment really is that while there's no end of day close back below uh, the old November high, uh, we should see further progress. Uh, the favoured destination is the June price channel top at one pound, uh, which gives us a reasonable uh, risk reward even after all the gains we've seen in the recent past. Uh, the RSI is at 58, which is uh, basically right in the zone as far as uh, following a stock or a market uh, up for a new leg higher. Finally, a more problematic uh, situation. This is uh, Sirius Minerals, where we've already seen uh, so far in March a bear trap below the 200-day uh, moving average at 21 pence, uh, which was also a trap below the old um, February support as well. Uh, the good news as far as the price action was concerned last week is that we closed well above uh, both the 200-day line, uh, the old February support, and the floor of a rising May price channel. Uh, the implication of all of this is that we should uh, go on to retest uh, the best levels of 2013 to date, um, above um, 30 pence uh, intraday. Uh, if you're cautious, you probably wait for a break of, uh, say, the 10-day moving average at 24.5, or very, if you're very cautious, uh, the 50-day moving average at 26 pence, uh, just to make sure that uh, a new leg is uh, higher has started. We already already had one false uh, start um, uh, break up at the beginning of March. So uh, above 24.5 um, and a half if you're cautious, but otherwise. It looks as though enough has been done by Sirius to get back to 30 pence over the next few weeks.